Hello and welcome to Rotary and Serving Our Community. My name is Wade Nomura and today we are going to be taking a look at Bakersfield and the district conference that we just had over there. With me today I have Sandy Schwartz and Jackie Jans, both from Bakersfield and they were instrumental in making that quite the party. So we're going to start with you, uh, Jackie actually. Tell us a little bit about yourself. A little bit about myself. I am a nine-year Rotarian. I am a past president of the Bakersfield West Rotary Club and currently an AG for Group 2 in our region of Bakersfield. Professionally, I am a marketing and corporate image consultant, and I'm also a college adjunct professor for our university in Bakersfield. Great. Thank you. How about you, Sandy? Um, born and raised in Bakersfield, actually four generations Kern County. Uh, my classification is a nurse. I'm an RN the last 41 years, the last 25 in home health and hospice. I'm 22 years a Rotarian, past president of Bakersfield East, and currently District 5240's district governor nominee. Great, thank you. Now what got you into Rotary? Actually, it, I'm, I'm the stereotypical. I got in because my business asked me to reach out and start working in the community. I was a community educator for our hospice agency. And typical of Rotarians, we found our aha moment and we <laughs> stayed in Rotary. So 22 years later, wow. it's now my family. That's great. You must have been one of the first uh, women Rotary. Actually, in my club, I was number 10. Number 10, really? I was number, the only time in my life I was a number 10. <laughs> <laughs> and proudly so. <laughs> How about you, Jackie? My, I actually grew up with um, service in my family. My dad was a longtime Lion, Lion Club member, past president of Lions Club in Bakersfield. So I knew all about service organizations and growing up that way and basically got to a place in my professional life where I wanted to give back to my community and I felt that I can always do more with a group like Lions or Rotarians bigger and better than what I could do by myself. Mm -hmm. And I had a client who was actually a Rotarian, invited me to a meeting and I stayed. <laughs> great, great. Uh, district conference. Uh, why don't we tell somebody what a district conference is? District Conference for Rotarians is um, very important. In fact, Paul Harris had the first district conference. It was very important for our founder, and it continues to be that tradition today. In fact, it's a part of our bylaws, and I think every district's bylaws to have an annual meeting combine that with a district conference. Um, so it's, it's historical, it's important, and our district, every year, it, it, it remains just one of the hallmark uh, events of our year. Good. And how about you? What do you think makes a district conference so special? And what are people missing out on? Uh, I think one of the best avenues of our district conference, at least, is the relationships that take place. Because our district is fairly spread out, and our conference allows people to see old friends that they haven't seen in a while, and to meet new friends that they perhaps haven't met from other clubs in our district. But for me, I think it's a really nice come together for everyone to reunite with good friendships and continue the camaraderie that Rotary is known for and that I think our, our district does well with. Now a district conference actually is the very first event that a governor mm -hmm. who's in line to be a governor mm -hmm. can actually move on and mm -hmm. take action on. Mm -hmm. When did you get involved with that as far as Jim Bell's year? Um, Jim asked me years before, or two years before, to be his chief of staff. So from the from the planning stage to the dream, to the implementation, I was a part and over helped him oversee that committee that put the district conference together. So um, that was just a part of the duties as assigned for me. <laughs> and how about you, Jackie? When did you get involved with that? With Jim specifically? Yeah. Uh, probably about a year, maybe eight months before the district conference. It was exciting because there hadn't one, been a district conference in Bakersfield in a long time. Mm -hmm. So I think there was a lot of buzz, at least in our local clubs, about how exciting to have a district conference in our own town when there hasn't been one in a long time. And Jim had met with me in regards to being the MC for his event, for the district conference event. And so his thoughts and ideas, and I thought it sounded really fun and wanted to be a part of it. Sounds good. Now, what unique things did you put into it? Because we've had district conferences before there, but mm -hmm. most of the time it was organized and developed on the coast, I hate to say. So when we went to Bakersfield, it was a little <laughs> generic, and I hope nobody takes offense to that, but then this one was quite unique. No offense taken. <laughs> I think anyone who knows our immediate past district governor, Jim Bell, it's all about fun. fun. And what he really wanted to focus on was to make it fun from mm -hmm. the day 
people arrived. Um, our sister districts, when they got to Bakersfield on Tuesday night before the event, all the way till Sunday, it was all about fun. And the second most important thing to him was to focus on the youth. And so it made it very easy and unique because we could bring in all of the youth activities, all the interactors, all the rotor actors, our rotary exchange students. It was a perfect fit for what he saw as his vision for his district conference. Great. Yeah. Well, let's jump cool. into some of the pictures. Sure. Uh, I think the pictures are, are worth a million words here because <laughs> you guys had a, quite a fascinating event going. First picture we have. Um, this is actually our Boys and Girls Club, our, at the time, the president of Bakersfield North. He's the zone director for all the Boys and Girls Clubs in probably um, California and Nevada. These were his, in fact, the girl in the blue polka dot, that's his daughter. And this is a music group called Music Fusion um, from the Boys and Girls Club. And they came back several times during um, our event to put on um, songs and, and to dance for us. And interestingly enough, they did not want any money for the kids. Their community service through the Boys and Girls Club, they got paid for their vocal lessons and their dancing lessons wow. by doing community service. So this happened to have been perfect for them, a community service project. That is perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, those are our exchange students. Exchange students, yeah. The gal on the far right, I hope in the picture is, is a uh, Rotarian named Rhonda Warner, and she's been in charge of our Rotary Exchange student program for many, many years. District Governor, um, then District Governor Jim Bell and his wife Donna are in the middle, and these kids come from all over the world to spend a year in our district. So that was fun for them, and they all got in polio shirts. So they gave Jim and Donna in polio shirts. Right. And I think one thing that this group did, the committee did this year, was to really bring a lot more interactiveness mm -hmm. with the youth of our district to this year's conference, which kind of made it a little bit more special. Sure. The cooking class and the interact, we had an interact district governor that was implemented this year, and so there was a, a lot larger role that our youth played in this year's conference. Good. Speaking of cooking class, you have a... Well, that's who you see. The next picture, <laughs> yeah. the gal in the center with mm -hmm. the yellow bowl was our Interact District Governor, Emily Wolf, mm -hmm. And it was actually a skit on how to make a Rotarian. <laughs> <laughs> and so there was pizza dough and an oven. And lots of spices. Lots of spices. <laughs> a, lo a lot of spices. Anyway, mm -hmm. the kids did um, such an amazing job that morning. It was, it was fun. It Great. was fun. And then we have a picture here of Jim and Donna with the, with the cake. It yep. happened to have been his 69th birthday on the Friday night of the district conference. So this was a surprise to the <laughs> district governor. We all met at the hotel, surprised to him, and they brought him a cake, and we sang happy birthday. Very nice. Let's talk yeah, about the Crystal Palace. I, I, and I was going to say previously that I think another thing that made it fun was the venue that we have. Bakersfield, you know, had Buck Owens come from Bakersfield and Merle Haggard and some of the country stars. And so the Western theme went really well. And the venue in Bakersfield, that's the Crystal Palace, is both a restaurant as well as a music and dancing. And I think this committee was be able to bring that into the conference that made it kind of go with the theme, but also had a lot of history between Buck Owens, Merle Haggard, the country sound of Bakersfield or the Bakersfield sound, and allowed a, a venue in which people could actually dance, enjoy the conference, enjoy a good meal, and a lot of people got to experience something that's actually pretty unique just to our area. It was definitely unique, yeah. It was a great place, but we had a great time there. So the pictures there um, with the statue, that's actually, I'm not sure who the, uh, the entertainer is, yeah. but there are bronze there are statues all, over statues the all throughout the Crystal Palace. I'm not sure Palace. who that is either. That's um, part of, um, the night that they presented all of the bronze statues at the Crystal Palace is the night that Garth Brooks proposed to Trisha Yearwood uh -huh. right uh -huh. at our Crystal Palace. Uh -huh. But all of those are bronze statues, and I'm not sure that that's, I don't think that's Buck Owens, because no, I think not. he has a guitar. Yeah. But the ladies on the left are it from our sister districts. It could be Gene Autry with the violin. Would it could have be? been. It could have been. There's a lot of country stars that have statues throughout the Crystal Palace. A lot of history memorabilia. That's right. Elvis's Cadillac at the bar. Just some fun stuff that exists from a historical Pretty standpoint cool. at mm -hmm. this venue. But the ladies on the left of the statue are actually from our sister district in Korea. Mm -hmm. 
and the the gals on the right, I'm not sure where they're from, but it's that's I, actually the uh, sister district wives from Mexico. Oh, from oh, Mexico. There okay. you go. Yeah. There you go. They look like and, teenagers. Yeah, they look terrific right there. They look like teenagers. It was great. <laughs> and then we have inside the palace. Inside the palace. And howdy doody in the middle. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we actually got our district governor to put on. Um, um, a cowboy outfit from Toy Story. From wasn't Toy it? Story. From Toy Story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the inside, and and there was dancing, and mm -hmm. there, the dinner was fabulous. All dinner all, was fabulous. All mm -hmm. with with the Western theme. And Woody. So to get Woody. our Woody, Woody. Woody. from that's Toy Story. That's right. So that's right. <laughs> to have our DG dress up in costume and play the role of Woody. It's just little elements like that that just made it really fun. So, so who did the? Uh, the costume, the outfit for him. Oh, we do want to give that person credit. Oh, we oh, want yeah. to give that person <laughs> yeah. credit. That happens to be yeah. Nona Darling. She's, oh, her husband's Nona. in my club, so Nona Darling made that for oh, him. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Nona and Jim Darling. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Aww. great. Just more fun shots. Yeah, next picture we have is uh, the team. Uh, that's the governor classmate. Mm -hmm. That's the governor classmate mm -hmm. Mexico, uh, from Mexico, along with past district governor um, Chung Sam Do, who happens to um, have been from Bakersfield. And he's he comes back every year as an interpreter with our Korean sister district. He was from your club, right? He And it will be 20 years between the time he was district governor and I'll be district governor. Perfect. So I'm pretty excited. No, you're not going to move to Pismo or anything. No, right? Carlsbad, no. <laughs> no. Okay. No, I'll Because I remember he moved around a little bit after He moved around that. afterwards. He yeah. sure did. Wow. And then there's but a picture we got of Jackie truly, there. Exactly. There's yours, yours truly and Woody right there at the stage. <laughs> I actually had some fun. Jim didn't know this, but I had contacted Donna and just wanted to get some fun facts about Jim that no one else really knew. So I think it was actually Sandy and Donna that uh, fed me some some fun, fun, you know, creative fun facts about Jim that he didn't know was going to be told about him. And so that's what I'm doing is saying all these different things to expose him. Yeah, they were good, night. by the way. It was a fun night. <laughs> good fun job night. of research on that. Next picture is uh, Jim right there. That's our pastor. Woody himself. Woody himself. No, I did take that picture, and I have to laugh about this because he's actually pointing at the big screen a picture of himself there. <laughs> <laughs> Only Jim. Exactly. <laughs> Only Woody would do Only that. Only Woody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this next picture is actually that year's class of Bakersfield presidents on stage with me. So that's who that is. Yeah. Is, yeah. They uh, did a couple of uh, skits. And, skits. Yeah, yeah, it was they, good, actually. It was neat to have nice the Bakersfield job. presidents do some fun skits. Then the music itself was outstanding. Yes. It, is that Kim McAbee? It is, actually. It's Kim yeah. McAbee. She used yeah. to play with Buck, and she plays with the Buckaroos right. and the sound. Big country music player right there with a lot of different country Great bands. Great voice. Yeah. Great voice. Mm -hmm. The next picture has um, some of the Rotarian youth. Um, on the far right is Madeline Stringham from San Luis Obispo. She is actually an ambassadorial scholar, and she came back, and she was a rotor actor. Now she's a Rotarian. In the middle, um, in the red shirt, is Mackenzie West, and she was the Rotaract president from Bakersfield last year. And then Jeremy Ng, who's from LA5, mm -hmm. who is very instrumental. What a fine, fine group of young people for Rotary. I think and that was the closing part, wasn't this it? This is the closing part, and this was on Sunday morning, and, and Music Fusion, that's, that's the group, they came back to close out Jim's event that morning. It's a great picture. That was. And by the way, there was a lot of comments made about how the youth played such a huge role in that district conference. You did a great job. It, on that. it was fun. From the MCs, we, had, we, we wouldn't let the old guys up on the stage. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> they, they, had to, they had to be young. <laughs> you didn't see me up there. So. <laughs> but you were giving the orders. I didn't That's right. Marching that. orders in the back. There you go. <laughs> great. But that was uh, commented by quite a few of the international people also. Oh, how fun. And Mexico actually took that theme back. They wanted to replicate that. Wow. They said, we've nice. never seen youth involved with the conference ever. So Great well, they're idea. our future. Nice. Yeah. We have to invest in them. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Then the next picture actually was at a reception that you had that was organized. Um, this this picture here is the team from Mexico and Korea, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I'm not sure where this was taken. Me but either. That beautiful was, home. Actually that was that patio um, Oh, the center. park? The, the oh, park. He the had park that courtyard. The park. 
Oh, at the, at the Mark. At the Mark. At the Mark. Friday okay. night's okay. event. Yeah. Yeah. I was back at Ground Zero helping okay. with the audio for the next <laughs> oh, day, so I bad. didn't get to go to this one. We, we did get to enjoy it, by the way. It was there a great you go. Event I'm glad you had a good time. <laughs> it was very fun. <laughs> and I put a few pictures in here also. Uh, one of the pictures in the center, or the one we have coming up, is a picture of the district conference from our sister district in Korea. And this picture was taken with one of the clubs. A club. A club. And the clubs, each of the clubs have women dressed in special colored hanboks that represent Beautiful. Their, their club. And they come in by busload, by the way. And that's why there's three, 4,000 attendees for each of their conferences. It's amazing. But they come and go. They're there, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they just disappear. But they have, actually have the events in theaters. They're so wow. Big. They're so big. So, yeah, They're so, so you, big. You see that. Wow. You know, you always know that you get more out of Rotary than you put into it. And mm -hmm. for us to have relationships in Korea and in Mexico, yeah. I feel our district benefits so much from those relationships. Uh, uh, and look at this. Yeah. I mean, the tradition and the history. Um, they're lucky to have us, but we are very lucky to have <laughs> them. That's for so, sure. So, by the way, that picture... Um, that was the year I was governor, and then I had Frank and Scotty join me, and they didn't, well, Roxanne didn't go with me that time. So they put First Lady Scotty on my, on my <laughs> banner, so that's why she's standing next to me there. I love <laughs> it. I love it. The next picture actually are, is a picture of Mexico, their, their district conference, when we were invited down there. And as you could see, they actually did an event where we walked the city streets <laughs> in San Miguel de Andy. It's beautiful. Um, the parade leader was a donkey oh. <laughs> that had all the booze on top, <laughs> so they did it right. Uh, follow the donkey. Follow and the donkey. Spe speaking of donkeys, the next picture we have <laughs> <laughs> of, of Jim there, yeah, he, he caught up to the donkey, got his oh. fair share of drinks. But I love his face in that picture. <laughs> his face was That's good. so That's cute. That's priceless. <laughs> that that is. was priceless. How fun. That's fun. And then uh, the last picture we have there shows um, the actual exchanging of the, uh, it was the agreement for the sister for the, districts again. For the next year. Yeah, right. which was an out, uh, outstanding. And, and again, as you say, those conferences really bring and aren't we people fortunate. together. They do. Aren't they really we fortunate. Do. They bring people together. That's great. It's wonderful. Beautiful pictures. So we got to do a tour of it. Now tell us a little bit about behind the scenes. How, uh, how difficult is it to design, develop, and plan a district conference? You know, when you, when you want it to turn out well, you want to surround yourself with a great team. I have to tell you, um, we met every month for over a year and a half. And then as we got closer with any event, you meet almost weekly. All of the decorations you saw from the district conference were done in my house. I mean, <laughs> we just had, we had a great team, but it takes time. And, it, and it, it takes a lot of everybody on the same page with the same goal in mind. And I, I will tell you, the team was fabulous. And all local, so you didn't have to wait for somebody to come up from L.A. We, we, we yeah. pulled the whole local team together. And because we were so proud that it came back to Bakersfield. Mm -hmm, you know, sure. I think that's a, another reason why there was so much effort into it. Mm -hmm. And how much do you think the, uh, the goal, the plan, the objective plays in the success of a district? Look at our look at our sister team who said what a great way when you added the youth. Yeah. The takeaway for, for me, that's probably the best takeaway, is that people walked away, you know, even during the glitches, even, you know, the times where you you're sitting back there going, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Nobody caught that. No, Nobody true. caught that. And the sister districts are so um, they're front and stage, they're having a great time. Yeah. And you can tell, and when your heart's when your heart's in the right place, and and our team did, mm -hmm. it it just, I, and our district governor was totally pleased. Mm -hmm. So for us as a team, we were glad that he was smiling at the end. Yeah, and it's usually people what people tell you the feedback that comes mm -hmm. back, and when it looks easy and fun and looked like so much was happening and was all yeah. easy, then you know it's not easy. It's hard, and it takes a lot of people to make sure. it work. But yeah. if the people that went enjoyed it, they're still talking about it, they remember some element of it, and it brought people together, it's a success. I think a lot of it has to do with the team also, because your team, all fun people. There was nobody <laughs> well, that helps. No, seriously, there's nobody in there that was just throwing wrenches at things, all, you know, the, 
the the guy that's yeah. always complaining about something was yeah. never there. Oh, if there were any disagreements, it never <laughs> no. showed. It never really? showed. But Rotarians like to have fun. Yeah, I mean, they absolutely. do. I mean, we serve a great purpose in our community, but also Rotarians know how to fun, have fun and want to have fun. So it starts with that as a common denominator. So a question would be, why are there only 10% of the Rotarians in the district mm -hmm. that ever attend a district? Well, I think your audience knows that we came from Bakersfield to drive over here today, and that was probably the biggest talk that we had. Mm -hmm. You know, I think moving forward, because I'm in the beginning processes right. for two years from October, when it will be my district conference, our district conference, and I, when you only service a tenth of our membership, those are things that you really need to look at because it, mm. it's not inexpensive to put on this type of a venue. Sure. You need to make it relevant, but we have a, a young generation coming in behind us that don't see the relevancy of being together in the same building on a weekend and very busy and social media and Skype and all of the webinars and all of the go-to meeting types of things when you don't have to meet um, as a group anymore as it was when Paul Harris started the district conference, when that's all that you did was to meet in a group. I, I think that is a challenge and, and one that we're gonna have to really think about. We have two e-clubs in our district. How to invite them, we have a member who's in Australia. You know, how does yeah. she get to the district conference? So we've mm -hmm. talked about how we're gonna make sure that there is that type of webinar so that they can be a part of it and, and have them on on like FaceTime or, or whatever Skyping so that or they, they get to have the same input. Good. They're mm -hmm. a member of our district. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, Catherine's talking about trying to come for that, for your <laughs> event, by the way. That would be <laughs> fabulous. She's looking forward She's to it. She's gonna be a speaker. <laughs> there you go, she would be she great at it, by the way. She needs to be a speaker. Mm -hmm. So looking at the successes and the things that could have been fixed from the first Bakersfield one, what have you come up with as far as things you would wanna change? Well, we already know that October 5th and 6th will be back in Bakersfield of 2018. Mm -hmm. So that's two years from this October. I really want to look at doing a lot on Friday night for a social event. Um, Saturday, I'm, going to, I'm really looking at doing our Rotaract Inter, uh, District Conference and our Interact District Conference in conjunction with our Rotarian District Conference. Having the kids there, have them go out on a project with GoPros so we can sit <laughs> on a live feed and watch Good. their project. I mean, I really want to make it relevant. I really want to make our time together meaningful um, so that the millennials do come and join us. Mm -hmm. And even if, and maybe we'll just do a big project. Who knows? Good. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Now, how about including or incorporating that international flair, the uh, international partners we have? Have you? put a plan in place for that, how that would they work. They will be there Tuesday night as per tradition. They usually mm -hmm. come in on Tuesday and I've already talked to the growers because they didn't get to see our, our big wealth of agriculture. Um, so I've already talked to two of the growers. We're going to do the Council of Governors dinner, hopefully in a little town called Shafter at the Garing's oh, house. Oh, great. Um, and they've already offered to do that for us. Um, so I want them to see more of Kern County and hopefully um, integrate them as a part of the district conference as well. So, yeah. Good. By the way, their house is large enough to do the whole convention. I know. Conference there. They've You've got a been there. <laughs> I have been there. They've got a beautiful home. Well, Garing, Garing wow. Ranch would be a nice thing that on the October, be. Thursday evening on, in October. It'll be a beautiful setting for them. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, any field trips, events like that, that you're going to be including, incorporating? Well, I really want to do a project. I really want to have Saturday morning project, at least with the interactors and rotoractors. And so I've asked, we Habitat of Humanity is one of our local projects and we go put roofs on oh. on the weekend. So if we can get that organized, I mean, I'm just really in the planning phase of doing mm -hmm. it, but I really want it interactive. And I think that's where mm -hmm. you pull the millennials in is when you're actively doing something. True. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We've talked about doing steps as a part of the district conference. Mm -hmm. That's out of the box, but a way to, to do those projects and hallmark the things that we don't talk enough and celebrate True. enough of. True. Um, so those are just in the planning phases for now, but I'm really excited. If we're gonna do this, let's make it meaningful. And fun. And, and fun. fun. And fun. Has to now, be do fun. we have uh, road actors, uh, interactors actually on your committee also right now? We will, mm -hmm. we will, we will. Mm -hmm. nice. absolutely. Well, they will be planning their own Interact District Conference okay. and their own Rotaract District Conference, so nice. they'll be in conjoining buildings over at the Convention Center 
there's a common hallway, so they'll eat with us, interact with us, but then go off and do their own thing. Okay, got it. So, two years. Mm -hmm. Two years. Two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. It'll be tomorrow. Okay. Now, <laughs> tomorrow. Your, your chair. Have you selected a chair yet? Have you I'm, thought about I'm a that? very smart girl. I may look tall, but I'm a very <laughs> smart tall girl. And um, past president Kay Pitts from Big nice. Breakfast, who was Jim Bell's um, district conference chair, is my district conference oh, chair. Oh, perfect. She did and a great she's job. she's a yeah, by the book girl. Great she job. Make it Actually, happen. we invited her for this one, but I guess she yeah, was a little, she was busy. Yeah, she's a little busy. busy planning she's, yours, probably. She's busy planning. <laughs> yeah, yes. she better be back at, at the drawing board better for be me. Working. Yeah. <laughs> yep. When we look at uh, Bakersfield and all the uniqueness that Bakersfield has, but you still have the coast. You have Santa mm -hmm. Barbara, you got Ventura, and you got San Luis Obispo. How do you incorporate that to try and create that draw? Mm -hmm. Have you thought about that? It's a challenge. Because it is a it challenge. Is a challenge. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. You start early. You start mm -hmm. early. And if we're going to do the Interact District Conference, and we have Interact clubs that need transportation, if we're going to do steps, there, then we have a, a different type of draw. True. Um, how to incorporate all of that, and and the difficulty will be maybe we won't have the t the draw that we want, but if you incorporate the kids, yeah, and if you incorporate maybe doing our steps to end poverty as a part of the district conference and make it very interactive, I th you know, in October isn't July in Bakersfield, so yeah. there are nice evenings and and it's a little warm there. still in the day, but cool off in the evenings. Mm -hmm. And you do you make it fun? But I think you do have to make it meaningful for Absolutely. everyone, no matter where you, you are. So you, you have, have to respect to people's time. Make things a little bit different. I think people get bored with the same old, same old, same old. So when you throw in some other things that kind of create differences and diversity in each one, then you attract not only people from Bakersfield to the coastal district conferences, but then coastal people to inland district right. conferences. Right. So you have to just make it meaningful for everybody in a new way. Mm -hmm with a new flair that's a little bit different, that gives a little bit of meaning for everyone who wants to come. Because if it just becomes the same old type of situation, people are not gonna respond well to that. True. Yeah, Plus true. you also, as a governor, have She's the, on the committee too. I can see that. <laughs> you have the network of your presidents. And they, Absolutely. They will do a lot. Right. Well, Absolutely. thank you very much. I know it's a quick half hour. I spend a lot more time with you on this one. It's a great, great program. Thanks so much but, for having again, us. Thanks for yes. coming over to Mountain. Thanks, Wade. Appreciate oh, that. Absolutely. <laughs> I had and, her in the car for this time. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, thank you very much for joining us. Take a look at Bakersfield. It's gonna have one great conference coming out here in a few more years. So we'll talk to you soon.